go, the start to the new shooting season. Uh, this is my first day out this year. Uh, we've been beating and picking up. First day shooting. Um, I'm heading up to Cambridge this morning. Uh, I've got Ted and Percy in the back. Um, going up to a little place we've been to quite a few times actually. Um, some sugar beet up there, although we just heard they've lifted quite a big field yesterday. Um, but there's going to be plenty to go at. <clears throat> um, me and a couple of friends up there. And basically we're just going to have a bit of a walk around today. Um, we we all wanted to get out. So here we are. We're uh, friend Tom there and Howard from Fort Pip. We're just starting this little bit. We've got a disused pond down the bottom. So basically we're just going to push anything. We've got a, can't shoot over that side. So we're just going to walk down here. Um, apparently there's not any duck on there, but um, there's some scrubby bits where we might get a few partridge. I've got Ted out with me to start with. Ted here. Come in here. Here. Um, I'll get Percy out later when we go into Sugar Beet. I think that'll suit him a bit better. If, uh, if you're interested in booking a day walk up next year, all the days this year have gone unfortunately, um, we contact Howard at Full Pip. Um, have a look on the website and you can book your day for next year. They're, they really are very good. You've got Sugar Beet, um, plenty of partridges about, and they do some excellent days. So, yeah, give Howard a shout and get your, get your days booked for next year. So this is our first little bit here. Um, old disused pond apparently in there. I've never been to this bit at all, uh, but it looks ideal. And you've got a lovely bit of rough grass stuff down there. Ted, come here. So uh, Howard and Tom are gonna go in there and work that little bit. We've seen a few pigeons flip about. There's some more up there, look. Um, they're gonna work in there and I'm just gonna take this this edge down. So basically, so if you're interested, I'm using my little AYI Number four cyber side. Uh, apparently, cyber sides are all fashionable now, but I've been doing it for a long time. And we've got uh, 25 gram sixes, uh, Live L Supreme. Um, they're my go to cartridges recently. Uh, you may remember last year I had the, my barrels, my chokes bored out, so they're a little bit wider now. And uh, I found that made my shooting uh, a lot better. Uh, the pattern was too tight for my kind of shooting. Um, yeah, so that's my go to stuff. Oh, that looks nice down there. Oh, there's going to be some scrubby old pheasants in there for sure. Yeah. Back. Back. yeah, I can't take that. That's a shame. I thought I was going to swing out left then. Ted. In. Ted. First bird of the season. Get out. Back. 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 Out. Back. Boy. Hopefully he's on the line of that the way he's taking that. There. There it goes, I just see it go the other side of the hedge. Just saw that run out the other side of that hedge. Hopefully he's on that now. Come on Ted. Well, this would be a good start to the season. Get a good retrieve like this. Good boy, here. Good lad, yes. Ted here, come on, fetch it here. It's a bit thick there. Ted, come on. Fetch it here. Come on, here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy, well done. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good lad. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Well done. Good retrieve, mate. So now we're coming up into our sugar beet. Ted here, here, here. 
and I'll just get Ted out for this. We've got plenty of sugar beet to go at today, so I'm going to finish Ted off in here and then uh, get Percy out a bit later. Got a big field of rape to do and a bit more sugar beet, so we're going to be working kind of a bit of a crosswind here. There we go, the big cover. Here, here. That's down, that one. Yes, down. Back, back, back. Good boy, yes, good boy. Go on, good boy. Go on here, fetch it. Fetch it. Good boy. No, it's all right. I'm sorry, I didn't realise that looked like it was going to go straight forward and then swung round. That was a little bit unfair to your dog. <laughs> Good boy. That was a lovely flush. So we're now out this afternoon, we're going to hit this field of rape. We saw a lot of birds moving in here earlier on. So I've talked to myself, doing my little preamble, which I've got to do again now because you've ruined it. Yeah. Leave that. Out, out. Good boy. Good boy, Dad. Leave that. Leave that here. Here. Percy. Out. Good boy. Good lad. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That What a fantastic day that was uh, out of this world. And we were so lucky with the weather. The forecast was awful. And uh, we stayed dry. The wind was quite strong. And um, as you saw, some of those partridges, they were just up and just gone. Uh, 
Now people think walked up shooting is really easy, but I'll tell you, shooting over dogs in the wind, in sugar beet, is got to be one of the hardest things to do. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Really happy with the dogs for the first day out. Um, they are absolutely shattered. I don't think they could quite get to grips with the, the especially with the, the sugar beet. Um, my ankles and my hips are very, very sore. Um, but I'm going to drive home with a smile on my face. That's a brilliant day. We've got loads more coming up. So look, please subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it if you think other people are going to enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you back very shortly. We've got a lot going on in December. So uh, watch this space. Mm -hmm.